good morning to you once more and today being saturday the 27th day of february 2016 once more i'm here at the argyle international airport site from where i am bringing to you my video update of the progress of the work which was done so far over the past week since my last visit now i'm here with you at the southwestern end from where i usually start my visit actually and i'm below the bank of the makoniyami hill where they would have done some fencing work recently now if you recall last week when we visit here all we had were the poles erected into the siding of the drainage here and this week now we have returned i have returned this week you are seeing that the meshes are up in place just the meshes are up in place in this area where we have the fencing work done on the southwestern side of the Makoniyami Hill. Now the taking down of the Makoniyami Hill continues and currently there on the other side from where I'm standing that is on the northern side and I have not gone there as yet but from what I'm seeing happening there are trucks removing boulders from that area up there on the north side of the Makoniyami Hill as you can see this truck going there that truck just came from that area and is heading down towards the bay side of the Stubbs Bay end and you see where they are passing there right now that is the reason why that area has not been fenced like I have told you last week there you have a truck that is now returning to the point where they are moving the stones from the back side there of this hill which is the north side of the hill but as I move my way forward to the north I'm going to give you an idea as to what is taking place up there but work is going on on the taking down of the hill as I speak with you right now and a lot of it has come down over the past week right where we had those red dots but more of it is left to come down but until next week when I visit again you're gonna to get to see more of what is happening here on this side of the fence there isn't any activity going on right now down here where we have the fencing but as you can see they have also done some running of the barbed wire at the top of this fencing since the installation of the fence and on top of those barbed wires we're going to have later on some razor wires resting between the forks over those barbed wires the razor wire will rest between the barbed wires and those forks that are on top of the crown of the pool so until i get to another point i'm going to leave you from here for the time being and to go in another area to show you what has taken place over the past week since i last visited this area i am back here with you where they have planted some poles on the southern end of the site no fencing work no installation of the mesh has been done so far but on the ground here you can see the mesh the meshes are in place waiting to be mounted now this is not a hard work to do this can be done in in limited time but i believe that the guys are somewhere else doing some other work regarding the fencing and that's the reason why not much has been done here what could have could be happening and this is just my belief that as the areas are being prepared where fencing is supposed to go the guys the mason guys they will move in and start planting the poles so 
it looks as though the, the way they are doing this work is they are insta installing the poles first right and then afterwards they go back and mount the meshes up because it will be much easier this way as the, the area is being prepared they do the groundwork in regards to putting up the poles and then they come back later on or another team or the same team comes back and put in the meshes now what i would have observed last week is that some of the guys who are actually mason and who work on the drainage system along the area where we have the fence when there is no masonry work for them to do they are being used in other works relating to the fencing like last week they were on the western side putting up the barbed wires because these were the guys who were doing the drainage system just under the Makoniyami hill and if you notice that they cannot continue with any mason work there because the area is not fully prepared as yet so rather than sending them home they are being utilized in other areas and it appears to me as if most of the workers as soon as your particular work is completed it looks as though they have laid off some of the workers because the volume of the work now at the airport site is, re is being reduced week after week so as soon as that work is finished the persons who are employed to do those particular type of work will eventually be laid off and you will just have a few persons being kept on and those persons who are kept on they will be moved from area to area to continue with the work even though they were not employed to do that particular type of work but rather than to send them home you use them to do work in other areas until they are ready for them to do the work that they are employed to do so this is the area here on the southern side as you see meshes are in place but no work is going on here right now but the mesh they are on the ground the poles are already up so all that is left to be done is for the mounting up of the meshes and these can be done in a quick time if you notice here you can see some of the barbed wires already being run at the top last week it wasn't like that now they have gotten to this point they can't go any further because there is still work to be done here on the mesh so there is where they have stopped but they are working the work is going on and bit by bit we are getting there closer to that date when we will have the operation of our Argyle International Airport as you can see week after week when I visit this area you can see the progress of the work that has taken place over the past week since I visited this area and you will better be able to understand and get a better feel of what is taking place here at the airport site I choose to give you a little bit of every aspect of the work so that I can put you in that position as if you are here yourself and going around on the site to see what is taking place so that's the reason sometimes why you see my videos are so long is because I want to bring you through my video on spot here at the Argyle airport site to give you a feel as if you yourself visited this area and you will want to see exactly what is going on all around the site and you could understand the reason why I cover the whole area and bring some bits and pieces of report as to the progress of the work that is taking place here so that you not being able to come for yourself you can have a vivid idea as to the progress of the work here at the airport site now I am on the southern end and I am outside of the fence this area as you can see um, the meshes are up so I am going around on the eastern side still on the south as you probably will know here I'm on the outside looking in and I know I can pass up at the top side there because there is still some space there is supposed to be a road coming down in this area and coming all the way from over there on the roadway 
somewhere up there where you see that house from the Stubbs Road up there coming down on that bank side somewhere there and coming through in that area where you see that blue tree for one of the trucks now if the road is going to come down here and it's going to link back up somewhere over there where we have the old road to Waraku therefore I believe that the road is going to pass somewhere it has to pass on the outside of the fencing so it could very well be in this area so all that bank side if it is going to pass in this area all that bank side up, the, up there will have to be taken down now on the inner side of this bank the trucks the, 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 they are taking down the area inside where they are removing stones for the stone mill to be taken to the stone mill to be crushed so as they move they are going to take down the inside so they are going to come all the way out eventually and take down this bank side yeah so that we could have the roadway but exactly where the road is going to run i'm not too sure if it's going to run outside of the fence and link back up to that road just above the mill where we where we have the stone crushing plant just above there i don't know as yet but as time goes by we're going to see better how the road is going to work but this road is not so important right now because there are going to be two access road this one here on the south and the other one on the north and what is likely to happen they're going to do the one up on the north which will be much easier to be done so that those of you who want to get to waraku or to the iadc office and you're coming from the kingston area currently you will go down to the argyle gardens and then come on the side come across the the run me just south of the petroglyph hill but when that area is closed you're gonna have to go all the way back up to the argyle primary school as if you're going to peruvianville and those of you who can remember where that old argyle road exiting before they start building the airport well you're going to come into that area and come around the the, the north end of the fencing along the eastern side of the fencing and down the way to work but they have a bridge to be built in that area also they have to build back the argyle bridge and all of that work so i don't know how long that is going to take but it has to be done very soon in order to have the traffic divert from coming across the sec the third kilometer of the runway so that they can continue with the work on the runway so that area will have to be done so that vehicles coming to argyle and to Waraku can have that access road to travel on instead of traveling on the temporary access road that they now have here is where they're digging down the inside of the hillside here the fort hill and uh, as they dig deep down here you know they're going to break with this whole area here that you're looking at and eventually they can make the road uh, coming on the outside of the fence there is work going on here but i'm not quite sure exactly what is taking place i noticed that they would have dumped a lot of stuff here after they would have taken out all the the stones that they need to be crushed it looks as though they are dumping some of the um, the other rubbles here i'm not sure if they're gonna build back up the area or they're gonna just use these later on but this is what we see happening here there are a number of trucks back up over there and i can't say for sure exactly why they're there if they're going to be loaded with stuff but this is what is happening here on top of the fort hill in the area where they are moving a lot of stones to be taken to the stone crushing plant to make the aggregates to be used on the airport side now i think i could understand what is happening here these trucks they actually are being loaded with aggregates to be taken to whatever area they're using is aggregates but i think the caterpillar was just making a roadway clearing the area so that the trucks can go around and now you see that the area has been cleared the caterpillar has gone back around there that is the front end loader and now the trucks are heading on their way to be loaded with the stones 
so that they can take them to whatever area and I believe is on the shoulder area up there where they are building up the sidings with aggregates I believe there is where they're going to take the stones but as you would know when I get up there I will see better and be able to tell you exactly what is happening I'm just giving you a look see of the backside here of this area where they're doing the backfilling trucks are coming down here and dumping stones as you can see down there at the bottom we have many truckloads of stone and you would have noticed earlier on the trucks coming down here at the back side of this hill so the work on the hill continues where they're dumping stone on on the edge there over into the sea later on the caterpillar is going to come and push the stones over to the side there as they continue to build up this area now this is the area where they're going to put those lights the approach lights for the aircraft landing here at Argyle they did not want to put them out at sea which will be very difficult for maintenance so what they would have done is they they backfill this area here and now they're going to put those approach lights on the land so it will be easier to access the lights when these lights need repairing but this work has not um, started yet in regards to with regards to the the lights but later on we're going to have the lights put in place and we're going to have an idea as to what these approach lights look like so just a while ago you saw the trucks going towards that side and i told you that they're going to be loaded with aggregates to take up on the wherever they're using the aggregates now as you can see there there one truck has gone already and this is another one going with aggregates but when i get to that point and i believe it's up at where they're doing the apron the shoulder area for the the taxiways i believe up there is where they're taking the stone but when i get there you're going to see for yourself so now you understand why these trucks were there first of all they were making a roadway for them to get around here because you would have noticed there a lot of dirt has been dumped there blocking the way and the front end loader was just clearing the way a while ago and I told you I don't know exactly what has been taking place now I can tell you based on what I have seen a while ago so until I move to another area I am leaving you here from on top of the fort hill as I look back towards the airport there and uh, I will give you some more update as to the progress of the work that has taken place since my last visit here at Argyle. Here we are, I'm here at the turning head on the south side of the 04 runway and as you can see there on the ground one of the the runway edge light already been installed it looks like it is blue yeah on the shoulder there is another one installed further down and uh, you can see the truck down there this truck is the truck that has been used by the guys who are responsible for the electrical work there and if you look closer down there you would see another one there on the ground being installed so the work is going on regarding these lights and not too long from now i tell you things are going to happen we are getting there bit by bit as we draw closer to the operational date of the Argyle International Airport. Meanwhile on the hillside here as I come from a frontal view you see we have two caterpillars there on the hillside pushing away the rubbles there from off the hill. 
to level this area so that the fencing work can continue towards the north to link with the one that we have already done up further on on the western side up there but it's still more of this rock to come down and the work is going on here on the Makaniyami hillside as we take this hill down bit by bit This hill, the Makaniyami hill, is coming down quite nicely. And last week, if you can recall, there was a caterpillar on top of the bank up there, pushing over some rubble. But this week, you can see now that they have actually made a roadway here for the caterpillar as well to get up on the bank. So this is just to show you how much of this hill has come down. But what you're seeing right in front of us here, that big monk there, that rocky, this is something that will have to be drilled and blasted. And you, you, you would have seen all of this massive boulder in front of us here. This is, this is one of the boulders that came down from off of this rock side up here. But they're getting there. The work is going on quite nicely. And as soon as they get down that big piece of rocky part of the mountain of the hill there, we are going to have some work, some fast work being done here because this seems to be the obstacle in the way yeah those high mount that high stony rocky bulk of stone you see lying so stubbornly up there this is what they will have to take down and they will have to do some drilling into this rock and then do some blasting and then bring this hill down because what is going to have to happen is that the fencing work will be passing right in this area as you look further up, you can see where they would have already done some fencing work up there. And right in front of us, we have some of the stakes being laid. So now, if I am standing right in the line with where we have that fencing, and if I were to turn around and look towards the bank side, I'm still standing in line with the fencing behind me. You will understand that all of this area will have to come down so that the fencing can continue to link with the one that we have already started down there. Not only that, the fuel pipes that will be going towards the Stabs Bay from where the fuel will be, be loaded into the storage tanks just above the airport site there, the fuel pipes will also have to be run outside of the fencing like we would have seen them higher up where they would have started the running of the pipes but those pipes the running of those pipes cannot continue until this hill has been taken down neither can the fencing be run until this hill is taken down so this hill and the Macon and the petroglyph hill these are the two obstacles in the way of the fencing work continuing here on the western side of the airport side all the other areas the work is going along quite nicely with regarding the fencing because those areas not, are not so difficult as this the western side where we have this hill and the Makoni Yami on the and this hill the Makoni Yami hill and the Petroglyph hill on the northwestern side of the site last week the Mason guys those guys who are working down at the just below the Makaniyami Hill doing the drainage work they were here putting up these barbed wires uh, last week now they have finished all the way up to the bank side where we have the control tower putting up the, these, these razor wire at the top of the fencing so this aspect of the work regarding the fencing in this area you can see it is completed now because the crown which is the the razor wire is on so until we have there is a small section above above ahead of me where there is a space that is left there so that the vehicle going to the lab can pass when that is done we'll have the continuation of the the fencing and the installation of these wires 
the work is going on steadily and I have the eastern side to check when I'm on my way down because I'm on the western side going up that's how I normally do my rounds start from the, the south and cover one side and in between going up and then when I'm coming back down towards the south I do the other side so when I get over that area later on in the day I'm going to show you the progress of the work which took place there last week between last week and this week regarding the fencing in the distance over there you can see the guys the electrical guys they're running the cables right now as they move forward to the north with the running of the cables for the edge the runway edge lights as they are probably called referred to as REL down here on the bottom we have the removal of these dirt and other stuff there on the ground we have some asphalt pavement works about to take place over there on the, the gravel taxiway and if you look right in front of us here on the Alpha taxiway you remember last week we saw that brown patch area that was raised and around it not much was done but this week you are seeing the transformation of this area the development that has taken place here in this area to give you a better idea and understanding as to what it will look like when it is finished so all that circle around the brown patch there which no doubt probably will be grass because in the center of that brown patch we have some um, manholes something similar to the two that we have on the ground there we have some of them on that brown patch where we have the brown patch we have about two three of them stretching all the way down on the other side so this area that goes around the brown patch no doubt will be asphalted and by the time I come back here next week we probably will see the asphalt oil spray so what is left to be done actually in this area and the centerpiece here what we're looking at is the actual taxiway for the aircraft and all those other areas are going to be the shoulder area so when they start doing the second layer of asphalt on the taxiway which is the alpha taxiway here they're going to do this broad stretch so from where the truck is down there right across to the apron we are going to have the that area asphalted and well i'm on top of the hill just below where we have the control tower that level area on the top where we have the the pipes running and on top of that area looking back at the work that is taking place on the flat down there in the area where we have the taxiway and the shoulder button with the apron this is the retaining wall that we have next to the road and the wall has come to the end point where it's supposed to reach and the drainage system is going on right now on both sides of this wall and this area right in front of us here where you have that gentleman is there's where we're going to have the road the road coming all the way from out there and there is one that is going to come down where that car is from the main road and this will take you to the cargo terminal building which is right here on our right in the video and all this brown patch you seen in front on the inner side of the wall towards the apron in that area we're going to have the hangar and if you notice where we have those two light poles you see how far apart from each other they are and I want to believe that if we're going to have a hangar there that's the reason why these two poles are so far apart 
to accommodate the width of the aircraft with the wings attached going into the hangar. Higher up you'll notice that the poles are much closer to each other than these two which are down here. Last week when we came here, we just saw the holes and I told you that they are getting ready to put the foundation in place for the lighting. Now we are back here this week, you see what would have taken place here. So here we have one out at the end down there and this is the second one where they are going to put the lighting for the street lights here. On this the access road to the terminal building of the Argyle International Airport and I'm close out to the main road but I'm heading down towards the the building site the building area on the site and as I go closer you're gonna see some of what has taken place regarding this sort of work over the past week well from what I'm seeing here it I can safely say that at the beginning of every island there is going to be a light pole now you see right in front of us here we have a whole dog but there is not going to be a pole here based on what i'm seeing but the conduit the pvc conduit coming from that light down there from that area down there coming along the road to here is going to come out here so what is actually happening the, the continuation of the pvc going to the connection of the other one will be coming here and that's the reason why you see they have that whole dog out there so that they can have the 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 wires run through underground to that pvc pipe um from this light down here so what is actually happening from what i'm seeing we have a column a foundation for a lamp pole at the first crowned at the entrance of the site of the main road here and at the beginning of every one we have a mount for a light but at the end we just have a space where the pvc wires are going to come through so as you can see this is another one here and this is at the beginning of the this little island in the middle and if you look down at the end down there there isn't any so from what I'm seeing here, I've come to that conclusion. So this cable in front of us here, this extended cable, is going to pass through the PVC conduit that is underground there and link up back all the way out to the main road to give the to allow the wiring to go out to light the poles. Now we have two here, and this is because one is going up, one is taken in, and one is taking out the wire. So that is why we have to win that area. Those of you who are electrical people will understand. But this is it. So here we have one of the two. And I call them the mobile staircase for the aircraft. There is supposed to be another one. But I think it is still somewhere on the port. But this one has been delivered here out at the airport site. And... Uh, this no doubt will be used on those aircraft that are not as high enough to use the jet bridge. This is the mobile step ladder, if you want to call it that. I don't know what is the real name for it, but you will know when you look at it. You see them going to aircraft and raising up so that they could have the passengers stepping off on them and coming down to the ground. Now it is about lunch time as usual here at the site and when it is lunch time you know how it is out here the place go quiet in some areas work is still going on and work will be going on depends on what kind of work it is but in other areas the guys will be breaking for lunch break and I'm here on the bank side above the terminal building on the western side of the terminal building the land side area actually and looking back at the car park and the building 
and all the work that has taken place down there over the past week since I last visited this area. Nothing new is being seen here from last week. Doesn't look as if anything new has developed here. But as I move across to that area where we have or where the taxi hut is going to be, you can see that there has been some improvement here regarding the taxi hut. Now you see they have come up from the foundation where they did the, the trench and now they have run the blocks and now the base of the foundation is here already. As you can see they are laying down the plastic there over the the filling up of the interior and on top of that they're gonna have no doubt the, the steel and then we're gonna have some concrete works for the flooring and as time progresses we're gonna see the work and the development of the work here with this the taxi hut being located south of the car park here at the Argyle airport site. Now the drain that is left to be built to link up to the 191 is this drain here and this one will be taking all the runoff water from the road from the front of the terminal building right down through to this area here and all the way back to the 191. Now this drain is just a simple drain because the, the, the culvert would have already been done and all they will have to do is to lay down the, the concrete bed and then fit the culvert in place as you can see with this one that has already been done that they just fit one on the flat and then another one on top and fill up the area. So this is the work that is left to be done. It looks as though they are making a roadway here. I'm not too sure that a road because you see all the stakes. Those green stakes there coming from the roadway up there and coming down. Coming down in this area. And behind me we have this piece of equipment that has been doing some grading of work here and we know that at the end of the um the apron here the commercial apron in the corner next to the 191 we're gonna have some asphalting work which will look like a roadway so apparently or maybe i don't know for sure but it looks so to me that the road is going to a roadway is going to come up in this area and link back up to the road at the front of the terminal building now all here we have a manhole where we have already cables for the lighting of these poles with the lights so where you see this covering has gotten to here this is the end to which this metal covering will be now from here go back towards the 191 extension tunnel over there we're going to have slabs covering this area just as what we have covering the 191 over on the 191 extension you see they have two slabs butting each other well most likely one of them will be able to fit over this area here now in this area where i'm standing is going to be asphalted and i not sure if it's going to be a roadway actually but the concrete works that they're doing you see where they have gotten to the last point and they would have just done a small piece in this area where you see that mason is sitting they are waiting to do the finishing touches here and after that we have this last section left to be done with the the concrete works here on this the apron area but further down on the south where we have the cargo terminal building there is still some concrete works to be done 
on that aspect of the apron area so as soon as the preparation work is done down there and all the stones have been laid and compacted in readiness for the molding the mason will come in and finish off with the concrete works down there at the cargo terminal building but like i have told you they are on lunch right now and uh, therefore the place is rather quiet but where you have mason work the guys cannot really go for lunch they have some small work to be done there where they have just done the mason work now the fencing work is going to come down in this area i am not quite sure if it is going all the way down back down there i don't know how it is going to run as yet but like i have told you i don't have to worry because as i come here each week i'm going to get a better understanding of the progress of the work done here at the airport site now here is where the water will exit from this drain running parallel to the apron this is the exit of the water and underneath there is where you have the 191 extension i call it the 191 extension because it goes all the way up to the bank side and this is called the 191 so this is what you have now here is where we're going to have here is where we're going to have the taxiway and last week we were here we noticed that they threw some stones down and now you come back you see they are filling up the area with aggregates they have packed it up with other bigger stones below and now they are filling it up with aggregates you remember this morning when we were coming up we saw some trucks being loaded with aggregates and i told you that they're dumping them further up well here is exactly where they are dumping these stones all on the side you see the size of stones that they put at the base and on top of this you're going to have the aggregates here and the compacting machine they keep compacting to set this here into position and and this is going all the way with this width of um area you have there this includes the area of the taxiway and all those shoulder areas and the shoulder the width of the shoulder and taxiway all combined this is taking you all the way back down to that area that point before the slope in the 191 well this is the width here well here is the back side of the 191 extension where they're doing similar work as they would have done on my right here where we have the taxiway no doubt they're going to fill up this area with stones and other stuff and dirt and what they're going to do afterwards i don't know if it's grass they're going to put in this area or they're going to put some sort of structure here i don't know but currently this is what they're doing they're filling up the area here just on this side of the the 191 on the northern side of the 191 between the 191 and the treasure glyph hill this is the work that is going on here so this should be the point to the width remember i told you a while ago the area that they're falling up from the the drain on my right that is running parallel to the apron and to the shoulder width where they're filling up with stone if you look straight across there I am standing right directly in position where the shoulder area ends so most likely they're going to come up to this point with the train with the lane of the aggregates here in this area where we're going to have the taxiway and the shoulder way of the alpha taxiway all this area is going to be filled up and the stones are going to be laid and level off and then we're going to have all of this area will be asphalted later on when this time for the asphalting has come we are here where they have that where last week it was a raised area of the brown patch now you're looking at it now here this is what it looks like it, it is not level you know it is kind of um it has a slope towards the center but on the side here we have stones have been laid and if you can recall earlier up in an early video i told you that 
the way it looks to me as if they're going to bring the asphalt in this area where they didn't put the concrete it looks as though they're going to put the asphalt right up to the wall here but from the the concrete here go back towards the the north this has been the area over which the the aircraft the, to the commercial area is going to pass so they have put a concrete step down area here and then when they do the asphalting as you would have seen before the asphalt will come over the concrete works here and then it's going to flush with the rest of the apron now the stone works have been done here last week because when we visited here last week they didn't have any stone works here in this area but over the past week since my last visit you are seeing the stone works here so what is going to happen afterwards because all this area is going to be asphalted we are going to have the spraying of the oil spray first and then we're going to have the laying of the asphalt on this area to flush with the wall here that forms part of the drain that is <coughs> linking the, this side of the apron to the Alpha Taxiway. So when next week when we come back here, you sure to see some new development here with the work regarding the asphalt work. Currently they are doing some asphalt work in a section of the Bravo Taxiway and I'm heading close down there to see exactly what is taking place to give you an idea of the work that is actually happening currently on the Bravo Taxiway. The work that we have going on here right now on the Bravo Taxiway, this is the final layer of the asphalt work of the Bravo Taxiway. Now they would have done a first layer already, just like they would have done on the runway. Now they are linking up this second layer to that of the runway that they would have already done. So here we have the work in progress. They would have already done here one section of this work and now they're coming down with the a second section coming to a certain point. And this asphalt work will, will link right to the concrete wall here of this area where we have the drain running over, where we have the drain running parallel to the apron. Now you are seeing all the, the, the finishing touches being done here on this the airport site where we have the apron and the taxiways, the Bravo taxiway, the Alpha taxiway and all the shoulder areas around the taxiways. And here we have some work, stone works have been done over the past week and making a circle around that brown patch that we were seeing over the past week gone. Now the trucks, the truck, the asphalt paver is currently doing its work there and the guys are there carrying on the work but I'll take you a bit closer so you can have a look to see what is happening. So there you see where the linkage of the Alpha, the Bravo taxiway, sorry, towards the runway itself with the second layer of the asphalt work here, which is going on currently right now at the airport site. Now this is the point to where they would have gotten to with the second layer of asphalt pavement works here in the second kilometer of the runway and if I look straight across ahead you can see the terminal building over there this is just to give you an idea as to how far they would have gotten with the asphalt pavement the second layer of asphalt pavement on the runway they are currently doing the bravo taxiway 
and from where I'm standing where we have the furthest point in the asphalt walk and as I look back over towards the north all we have left is the finishing area to do is the finishing up of the laying down of the base stones on the area between the second kilometer and the third kilometer that is between the two spanning areas we have left to be done all the way i'm walking here is where we have already had the first layer of the asphalt work and they would have done asphalt work over the 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 week gone and they are heading towards the north as they complete the work here on the runway Where I'm at right now, I'm over the 220 area where we have the spanning of the bridge and as of the river, sorry. And as you can see here, we have had the commencement of the base lane stone. Now these stones have gotten up to the point to where that road coming down from above the bridge at Argyle coming down in the backside area and coming in line with the, the, the river well we have gotten to that point here with the stone as you can see now no work in regards to the laying of stone is going on here but we have some work on the side on the side towards the petrocliff hill looking something like this in front of us where we have a raised area with a level of dirt that they have been doing to link it to the back to the other side that has already been done further south now the stone they're laying the stone going towards the the 191 because where the 191 actually is little above the 191 we have the still the road area so what it looks to me as though they are walking from the north towards the south towards the 191 area now we have on the hillside here where they're taking down the the pedigree hill um, they're removing the rubbers, the stones from the blasting would have done last week and this hill is coming down quite nicely you know, more than half of the, the the stone lane here on the runway itself over the 220 is almost completed we have some steel in the area and this area is not going to need too much of work because remember we have this solid concrete underneath so this is not going to need too much of of compacting because after we have the metal arches for the, the river spanning we have concrete poured on it so this will be rather a firm area here where the section over the 220 is concerned but we still have this area here to be filled with stone to link up to the one here that has already been done now i'm going up on top of the petrocliff hill so that i can give you an overhead shot of what it looks like down here on the flat where i'm at right now where the runway is passing over the 220. If you recall last week when we passed here, yeah, this wasn't up. But the fencing would have gotten to a certain point where you see in the the razor wire on top of the fence there. There's a the point to which the fencing had gotten sometime last year. But over the past week, as you can see, they would have put down poles. And like I have told you, they are planting the poles for the fencing. And then afterwards they come back and put in the mesh now i am here this area where i'm standing at sometime early up in the year last year 
this was a slope going down towards the river. Over there in the distance is where the river, the, the 220 tunnel has ended, where we have that concrete works. So this is the point to where the fencing pole has been plant, poles have been planted. Now if you look with me on the ground in front of us here, you see they have holes going all the way over, passing on the inside of the the wall of the 220 on the eastern side of the 220. So they have already dug the holes, they have poles planted up to a certain point and all this area we are walking on here, this area was filled up with boulders and packed with dirt and other small stones as you can see. I, it's, I had to bring it to this level. The holes are there on the side as I travel towards the, the north, you can see the holes for the poles are already in place. And not too long from now, when I come back here, probably next week, we are going to see all the poles in this area. And these poles, like I would have told you some time ago, that the fencing will be passing in the area of the edge of the, the 220, right where we have this wall here, as you can see. The wall is on the side there, the river is below us, and we have the holes. All this area was filled up with stone and dirt and so forth, and now they are going to put the poles into these holes here, and continue with the fencing right across to the edge over there. But when I get over there, I will show you up to what point they would have gotten with the fencing. I am on the northern side of the river looking back towards the south where I just came from and as you can see all that area across there where they're going to put the poles in the, on the inside of the river wall. Now at the back of us here on the northern side if you remember last week the guys were putting down the boxing for the poles and this week now we are back here we seeing all the poles are up fastened in their position all that is left to be done is for the mesh wires to go up now this fencing will be going inwards to where we have um, that stake there and link up right down there with the other as you can see right from the stake in front of us here going straight across where those other stakes are the fencing will be going over towards the end over there to the river so what you are seeing now a great deal of the fencing work has been done I have not checked where we have the 191 down there to see how it has been done down there but when I'm going back down I will pass there to see how things um, took shape down there over the past week but this is the fencing work up to this area here um, on the eastern side of the site um, east of the 220 river and going all the way back up on the eastern end we have the poles are up and soon we're going to have all the meshes are up over on the western side where they were doing that drain i can tell you for sure because i would have seen it from off the petrocliff field that they have also put up poles in certain areas where they would have done that drainage work so when i get over to that point you're going to see better the work that has been done so so here am i at the northeastern side of the fencing where we have the drainage system being connected to this drain that they would have built sometime last year taking which will take the water off the site and off the roadway all the way around to the northwestern side of the site now last week when we visited this area all we had was some concrete works at the base for them to lay down the matting. Now they would have laid down the matting and done the concrete works. They would have done some blocks work and now we have the boxing work over the blocks to crown off the blocks. So what this 
work is waiting on now is just the concrete in these boxing to finish off. Mm -hmm. The guys are up here right now doing work on this drainage system. As you can see, here, this is to the point to where they have gotten to on the outer edge. And they are working. You have some guys down there. They are running the blocks. But as I get further wrong, I will show you exactly how far out they would have gotten with this work since I visited here last week and show you what was going on in this area. Now, no doubt the fencing will be passing somewhere on the outside. And I don't know if it will be in this area where we have these stakes or close to the wall. But that will be seen when we visit here next week. And this work has to take up speed because it is in this area the, the roadway is going to pass, the access roadway is going to pass to take you to Waraku and to the IADC office. And this will be a permanent access road um, in, that will be here coming in from the Peruvian Vale, um, just at the area of the Argyle Primary School and coming around the north and eastern side of the runway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, your baby house politics down up there, man. Look at that camera, doctor. Let your wife carry him. So here we have the guys doing the, uh, let's say the foundation work laying down the concrete to hold the matting in place. And afterwards we're going to have um, the blocks work. This is what we're seeing there. This is what is going to take place after the laying down of these concretes to hold the matting in place. <laughs> Now these stakes we are seeing on the side here, um, to me it's an indication of to the point to where the road, the width of the road. I, I, no one has told me so but from my observation this is the conclusion that I have come to from this stake go back to where the drain is being built. It looks to me as if this is going to be the width of the road as it passes here on the northeastern side of the site. Now the guys are doing the work with the concrete in the back. Martins are being laid or martins have already been laid here. You will see they have done concrete works all the way out and the martins are laid, the steel martins are laid on the concrete work that has been done and now we have the concrete trucks coming with the concrete and securing these steel mattings in place um, and after which we're going to have the guys coming and run the blocks on the side to make the drain that will take this water all the way out to the other side heading down to the sea Well, this is the point to where they have gotten to with the concrete works and they are coming out with the steel works also and we have small trench dug here where they're going to pour concrete later on and from where i'm standing here looking all the way back over to the end i see the stakes are placed in position to to mark out where the drain will be heading and out on the outer side of the drain as you would know we are going to have the fencing Earlier I told you that where they have the steel on the outer edge of this area looks to me as if it's going to be where the road is, the width of the road. Well, I, am, I just asked one of the Cuban guys there and he told me that is so. So between that steel and the end on my left, those small steel you see on the end and coming back to the drain, that is going to be the width of the road. 
I'm going to take you back there so that you can see what I'm talking about just in case you would have lost track what I said a while ago. Now the steel, they have not gone all the way up. It looks as though they just start to put them in. But here right in front of us, you see one here. But this is the outer side of the road and going back to where they are putting the drain. That, he just told me, is going to be the width of the roadway. So we would have had some outworks done here on this the northwestern side sloping towards where we have the trench down there over which the road is going to pass so I don't know for sure how they're going to do the drainage system here how they're going to thin the water but it looks as though they have done it um, slope it off a little bit so as they bring the trench over here the trench will slope over into the drain but the guys are down at the, the, the southern end down there doing some work and I'm heading down there to see exactly what has happened over the past week but as you can see lots of earthwork has been done here I'm grading this area down in a slope sloping from south to the north so that when the water flows the water will flow back over to the north end into the gully over there and then into the sea on the eastern side now up here on the, the northwestern side where they would have done this drainage system here we now have the fencing work that is the poles are going up for the fencing and we have holes dug all in this area here already as they walk with the drain go forward the holes are being dug and the poles for the fencing are put in place currently the guys are they are working on the fencing where we have concrete being poured between the boxing and we have a number of poles planted all the way back down and this is on the western side in the north as you can see just in the area from where we had that structure on the bank side that they took down and where this old house is to come down all here on the northwestern side where the fencing work is going on just to give you an idea as to the progress of the work here at the airport site regarding the fencing here is the point from where the fencing has started but the fencing will continue along this path later down going all the way back over to the petrol to the, the mouth of the 220 and over the 220 back over to the hill where we have the petrol cliff and link up back somewhere in the area of the 191 so the work continues here at the airport site uh, another Saturday I'm here with you this bank side is being terraced as you can see it now in a slope and uh, things are happening I could just tell you that things are happening It is true here, <coughs> the water from the 191 tunnel will be running and heading towards the sea down in that area. Now the water will be coming from all that way up there and in the distance you can see the end of the 191. Now what will have to happen is that they will have to burst the road there and link this piece up to meet with this one here to take the water down to 
the seaside but the piece to the road has not been finished as yet so the water will not be able to connect to Rondong until that work until that piece down there is finished and uh, head over to the sea then we'll have the connection at the top so that the water can be taken right out towards the sea area but you know where you see that car passing there wants to cut the road if down here is where the road is going to pass back to go to Waraku, then they will have to make a bridge there in order for the water to flow under that bridge to get to the sea and to get back the road with there I don't know how they're going to do it or when they're going to do it but that is left to be seen